but I was pretty short up until my freshman year. It's at like 5'9", and then COVID hit. I grew to like 6'4", 180 pounds, and everything just started to click. That's when Jake Cummings started to take baseball more seriously. I felt like I really had a future in it, and then I started to grow a love for it that I didn't know I had. But Vaquero's head coach, Stan Pryor, always knew Cumming was going to be a special athlete. He used to play for me when he was young. I remember he was uh, 11 and we went into Winnemucca for an all-star tournament and he pitched very well. But he actually injured his back during just doing kid stuff at the tournament, you know, like the day before. And But he rested and he actually hit a grand slam for us in that tournament. So we always knew he was going to do something special when he was older. During the summer of 2021, Cumming was playing for the Reno Mustangs and reached out to former Nevada baseball assistant coach Abe Alvarez on Twitter. I told him, okay, I'm pitching in Reno. I'd appreciate it if you come see me, and he come and saw me that game, and then we had a call that night, and that's how I got the offer. Despite the two never meeting, Cumming left a lasting impression on the former PAC assistant. A year later, Nevada's head coach T.J. Bruce left for TCU, and Alvarez went to BYU. But new head coach Jake McKinley was still sold on the right-hander, who throws a dangerous slider and fastball that has hit 92 miles per hour this season. When I talked to McKinley, I was really worried that he wasn't going to honor it and I was going to have to start the recruitment process over. And I didn't want to leave Nevada because I like the label of being a hometown kid. And that's just where I wanted to go. And I was really happy when he said he wanted to honor my scholarship. Let's go! Cummings' work off the field has been just as crucial towards his success. The biggest thing I've seen on his development is his head. Before, he used to be able to get riled up real easy. You know, what little one little mistake would take him out of the game, and now he's able to hold it together. Before every game, now I meditate, and it helps me calm down on the mound. In the end of the day, it's just the game, and if you love it that much, you just got to enjoy it, and that's kind of where I'm at now. The Vaquero senior says a few years ago, he couldn't have imagined the opportunity to play college baseball at the highest level. I hope that all these kids look at me and see that it's possible to do this out of a small town school because around, say, like eighth grade and freshman year, I didn't feel like it was possible because of where I was at. I hope these kids realize they can do it too. In Fernley, Shannon Kelly, Nevada Sports Network.